this is Eddie Silva for the St. Louis Symphony blog. I am in our, our lovely green room, which I'm going to give you a little uh, pan shot here of. Um, the last time I was here, it was a ghost night. We were hunting for ghosts. Um, but tonight, I, th this afternoon, I found a couple of singers um, who are going to be part of this weekend's concert of the Schubert Mass Number no. 6 in E-flat major. And I will let them introduce themselves. I'm Mark Fryman. I'm singing the bass part. Good afternoon. I'm Elizabeth Schleicher, and I'll be singing the soprano solo part. Yeah, he really brings um, a lightness to each piece, even as, as dramatic as some of the things can be. Um, he can find these melodies in it that you never even really heard and really is able, when he works with the chorus, to say, well, this is what each part is doing and really bring to life all the melody lines and bring it together for us. It's also what I really love is the way that Amy Kaiser, our director, interacts with the conductors. So, for instance, our first rehearsal with, with Maestro McGeegan, uh, Amy is, is there watching and they're consulting each other and saying what do you think of this and should we do this and they resolve issues that we've been wondering about during chorus rehearsals. Yeah. Um, they both trust each other really well musically and, and I love seeing, seeing that interaction. Uh, each of you tell me something wonderful about the Schubert Mass number no. six. It's very challenging. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> yes, it is. it is, though. I mean, it's challenging as a listener um, but, and challenging as a singer, and he's always um, surprising you. I think that's what the, is the great part about the, how, why it's challenging and why that's a, a great mm -hmm. thing is because the harmonies are always surprising you, and um, I think that's very exciting. Yeah, wow. I, I love, there are a couple of uh, really complicated fugue sections for the chorus, and so we spent a lot of time working on that and preparing that. Um, one of the great things in the, in the chorus is that, that I found coming here was that we, Amy Kaiser doesn't spend time at rehearsals plunking out people's parts. You're expected to know your part. We have an amazing um, collection of musicians and great sight readers in this group. I mean, I was really humbled my first rehearsal to, <laughs> at the level of talent, even though I'd been a, a concert goer and heard them from, from out in the audience to, to be a part of it in, in, in rehearsal process. Um, so the, these, these two fugue sections were very complex and Amy said, you know, go, go home and study these and, and it was great because everybody did and we came back and, and the, the, probably the two sections we probably didn't have to work on the most because people were so prepared uh, musically, and so th that lets us focus on on blending, hearing each other. There's so many great subtleties in this piece, and it really lets the the chorus shine. I think as complicated as some of the music is, it also has these very simple, beautiful melodies mm -hmm. that are very much like Schubert's song, which is you know so, you know where you find some of his masterpieces. Mm -hmm. You know, very simple two-page songs sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, and now we have this big, nearly hour work that also has this beauty to it throughout the whole thing. Well, this just sounds wonderful. Thank you both, and we both look forward, and we all look forward to, to hearing you this weekend. Wonderful. Great, thank you. It's just before rehearsal uh, of the uh, Schubert Mass number no. 6 in E-flat major. I, I think I made a, uh, an air, I, I made it sound as if uh, our uh, vocalists, our solo vocals are going to be at the front of the stage, and they're, as I think uh, Elizabeth and Mark said, they are actually part of the chorus, uh, and and so those those wonderful solo voices will be coming directly out from uh, from the group. Um, as you can see, the, the the chorus is set up, and the musicians are are just starting to return to the stage, and. Um, I wonder if you can see that uh, in this darkened corner you have uh, Amy Kaiser and Nick McGeegan having uh, having some last last minute discussions before before rehearsal begins. Nick, by the way, is going to be uh, back in England in a week or so, where he's going to meet the Queen and receive his OBE, his Order of the British Empire. Way to go, Nick. <laughs>